And on that tree there was a limb, and on that limb there was a branch, and on that branch there was a nest, and in that nest there was an egg, and in that egg there was a bird, and from that bird a feather came, and of that feather was a bed. You see, saith Thomas Morton, that many of your fellows are carried to Virginia. And if you stay till Humphrey Rest will return, you will also be carried away and sold for slaves with the rest. Therefore, I would advise you to thrust out this Lieutenant Fitcher. And I, having a part in the plantation, will receive you as my partners and consociates. So may you be free from service, and we will converse, trade, plant, and live together as equals. And on that bed there was a girl, and on that girl there was a man, and from that man there was a seed, and from that seed there was a boy, and from that boy there was a man, and for that man there was a grave, from that grave there grew a tree. After this, they fell into great licentiousness and led a dissolute life, powering out themselves into all profaneness. And Thomas Morton became Lord of Misrule and maintained, as it were, a school of atheism. And after they had got some good into their hands, and got much by trading with the Indians, they spent it as vainly, in quaffing and drinking both wine and strong waters in great excess. And on that tree there was a limb, and on that limb there was a branch, and on that branch there was a nest, and in that nest there was an egg, and in that egg there was a bird, and from that bird a feather came, and of that feather was a bed. They also set up a maypole, drinking and dancing about it many days together, inviting the Indian women for their consorts, dancing and frisking together like so many fairies, or furies rather, and worse practices, as if they had anew revived and celebrated the feasts of the Roman goddess Flora, or the beastly practices of the mad Bacchanalians. Morton likewise composed sundry rhymes and verses, some tending to lasciviousness, which he affixed to this idle maypole. They changed also the name of their place, and instead of calling it Mount Wollaston, they call it Marymount, as if this jollity would have lasted ever. And on that bed there was a girl, and on that girl there was a man, and from that man there was a seed, and from that seed there was a boy, and from that boy there was a man, and for that man there was a grave, from that grave there The maypole represents the phallic symbol. It is the image of the penis, which is venerated in religion, as symbolizing the generative force in nature. 